Okay, people. So today I had a chance to check out Elementory. Right, this is the new film from Terence Arlene. He wrote and directed. Right, it is produced by Arlene along with Charles Cerrone, Misha Edwards, and Cleo Fluka. With Cholly J executive producing, Charles Cerrone also handled the cinematography. We don't have a whole heap of other information though, unfortunately. Now, um, in the cast roles, let's take a look and see what we have. Right, so, um, we have got. Do, 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 do. So Yvonne Adams is played by Kanisha Pickney. Her husband George is played by Tyrone Nathaf Nathaniel Reeves. Uh, their son isn't listed. Their son Morgan isn't listed, which is odd. Uh, then there's Neil Reddick and his wife Sylvia. So Neil is played by Sean Paul Costello. His wife, Sylvia, is played by Juliette Valdez. We have got... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Brian White, played by Charles W. Harris I. Louise Juma, played by Glenn Plummer. There is Principal Athena Lockett, played by Finjua, right? There's Miss Kathy Williams, one of the teachers. Crystal T. Williams plays her. And another teacher, Steve Konicki, played by Sean Schillingford. Right, oh, the Riddick's daughter, Tori, is played by Francesca Rain. Right, we've got Samantha played by Ziva Jane, uh, Simon Russell played by David Lee Denny Jr. Um, the police chief is played by Anthony Wilcox. We got the woman in the bar played by Marcia Marie. There's Chris Cunningham played by Big Daddy Kane. Yep, that's right, people. Big. Daddy Kane is in the piece. Um, Officer Brian is played by Cody N. Carter. Mm -mm -mm. And one of the students is played by Olivia Seidelman. Yeah, that's, that's our main group. So the gist of the story is a young couple's world is shattered when their child goes missing in broad daylight. Shortly after, another child disappears mysteriously from school. When the parents get little help from the police and their kids' teachers, they band with the other couple to take matters into their own hands, taking control of the school in their search for answers about their missing children. So, yeah, that's the gist. Now, I mean, kid abduction, right? Trafficking is a horrendous thing. And I don't think you need to be a parent to emphasize, to understand what that must be like, you know, for the parents, for the child, for the community, even. Obviously, if you're a parent, it's going to hit a little differently, you know, because that must be a constant fear, you know, when you let your kid out, right, what's, will they come home, like, what could happen, you know, so that's, a, that's a big one, and we've looked at a few films dealing with trafficking, like Maya, the girl in the back seat, just come to mind, Lord of Misrule, right, there was a, a kidnapping in that, so it's a big thing, so I think, Shining the light on these situations is real important. Real important. It is weird, though, because the synopsis only talks about two. 
But there is at the very, literally at the start of the film, it's no spoiler. At the start of the film, we have a girl, well, a, yeah, girl, I think it was a girl, stolen from a playground. And um, his point is that isn't necessarily referenced much. It isn't really referenced much. There is a nod to it at the end. All right. There is a a bit of a, a weird situation between the mum and George Adams, which it's a little on the nose, right? But yeah, so we're, we're dealing with this. And I think what the film does do is demonstrate and, and showcase those emotions that a family would be going through, right? Some of like those arguments. Now, I will say there is a moment when George turns right to a boy and he's just like, look, if you're not going to leave me, you got to, you know, start loving me again because I'm in pain too. And it is a bit like, I get it, but I mean, not much time has gone, right? Not much time has gone. So to ask someone to put emotions aside, you know, is a little crazy. But yeah, we do see those raw emotions, you know, and that's big, right? That's big. Now, plans, the plan, right? The big idea does seem a little crazy. Does seem, especially when I feel, you know, like Neil, he knows his wife, right? And we're, we're kind of given the implication that she might be both bipolar. Okay, so I feel Neil gets that, but there's no, okay, let's hold on for a second. Um, what are you looking to do here, right? And then it's like, oh, what? Oh, how? You know, he's just like, come on now, you know your wife. Right, you you know the situation, so you know there is that. I do think we do. You do kind of know. I think you. you there is a. I feel idea of someone who might be involved. Now, there's definitely some surprises here, definitely some surprises here, which is always a good thing, right? That's always a good thing. So that's great. And one thing that I think was, there's just this music, there's mood music throughout. I didn't think they went a little heavy on that. You know, did very well getting the emotion but too much, way too much mood music. You know what I mean? We, I don't think it helps a film. Yeah, I think it just distracts, really. So, yeah, it's interesting, right? It's an interesting one. It's not a perfect film. It's not a perfect film. There's, you know, I think there's certain bits that could be tightened up. I don't necessarily think it needed to be the length it is, it could be a little shorter, but, you know, it does a good job of, as I say, getting to those emotions, so if this sounds, like, if you enjoy, right, those films that try and talk on certain topics, right, if, if that's something you like, you know, and it's not, offensive, you know, although, although with, you know, the topics we're dealing with, it's not crazy, I think you could show this to a young audience, and you'll be, it'll be all right, all right, you know, obviously, it will, it will spark some conversations, but that's a good thing, right, so, yeah, I, I think anyone that enjoyed stuff like Into the Spotlight, right, um, yeah, maybe like why men are clueless. I think like of possibly like Maya, 
go in the back seat. It's not as strong as those, but it, it does still touch on those important factors. So if those are your type of films, then Elementory could well be for you, right? It's available now on all your favorite VOD. So, yeah, the links will be on the website, people. So, yeah, there you go, Elementory. It's uh, it's an interesting film, dealing with in important topics. So, uh, you know, we go check it out.